Autodesk helps customers design better products by enabling them to create digital models and digital workflows that can be used to experience ideas before they're real and improve the way products look, perform, and are used in the real world. How can we help create designs that are cost-effective, safe, and reliable while increasing bottom line and shortening time to market? How are design engineers facing real-world decisions and challenges with Autodesk simulation tools? Let's see how we can apply Autodesk simulation to a few theoretical design scenarios and discover why simulation is an invaluable asset to have during the design process. For the first design, let's create a frame out of structural steel tubing. The requirements for this design are displayed on the screen. We know that much of the final cost of a product is determined by decisions engineering makes during the design phase. So how can we leverage simulation to evaluate the multitude of conceptual designs and ultimately arrive at a lower cost design? Here are four concepts. Take a few moments to decide which frame has the highest factor of safety. Once we determine the best geometry, we can continue down the most efficient design path, spend time working on the best designs. Using inventor simulation capabilities, such as frame generator and frame analysis, we can iterate multiple designs in a matter of minutes, right inside our inventor design environment. In fact, best-in-class manufacturers are 66% more likely than their competitors to leverage virtual or digital prototyping. This means that they can make better decisions about the design and validate it works as intended. What I want to create here is a high factor of safety with the, a low cost. Maximize my ratio of strength to cost. Displayed are the material costs for the frame using the same type of 3 by 3 inch steel tubing. Notice that designs 2 and 3 are more expensive and less safe than design 4. In fact, design 1 in the upper left fails right away. Design 4 has the highest factor of safety under this loading. The factor of safety is so high that we might conclude it's over-designed and we can iterate our material selection to hopefully reduce the cost. Using frame generator, we can quickly change our frame to several different cross sections, then rerun the simulation to determine the effect on the safety. An important strategy is to evaluate more iterations and alternatives in the design process. By evaluating more options, different ideas can be examined which will lead to greater innovation and a more optimal design. Notice the cost per foot of the different steel tubing stocks. Making the right design choice now saves us money with every frame that we build. When armed with the right information, engineers can make even better decisions that will boost the overall profitability of their product. You can see here that I was able to reduce my stock to 2 by 2 inch by 3 16 wall thickness, maintain a factor of safety greater than 3, and the final design costs one-third as much as the original material choice. I'm able to take cost out of the product without adding a lot of time to my development process. Some structures lose their stiffness and stability before material yielding occurs. In this case, we're looking at buckling as a possible mode of failure. Buckling analysis is recommended for any structure where we have long, slender columns that are under a compressive loading. Using Algor simulation, we can evaluate the critical loading factor for buckling. In this case, you'll notice that my buckling factor of safety is 20, meaning that I'd have to apply 400,000 pounds for the structure to buckle. But when it did lose stiffness due to compressive loading, this is the shape that it would take. The biggest driver to improve the design process is reducing cost. Remember that much of the final cost of a product is determined by the decisions engineering makes during the design phase. 73% of best-in-class manufacturers use digital prototypes in their design process to predict product performance. Analyzing the product behavior earlier with simulation is how you know you're making the best decisions, way before you need to build physical prototypes.
Building and testing too many physical prototypes can adversely impact time to market and cost. A recent Aberdeen report found that the industry average is 6.9 prototypes per design. So think about this. How many prototypes do you build? When in the design process are the prototypes constructed and tested? And how much can you change the design based on the results of those prototypes? These examples show taking results from simulation to make good designs. Simulation provides predicted performance upfront in the design process, allowing us to make informed choices for materials and geometry. Armed with this information, we expect designers to be able to save money, ensure safety, and meet product quality specifications. You can augment your design process and realize true ROI on these tools.